Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the main menu screen in which there's quite a lot of fighting going on. The reason why we're here is just a little bit of happiness when I just opened up the game to start recording, and apparently, I am the YouTuber of the week, the first YouTuber of the week for 2017. So, thank you to everyone who was showing this video to the dev team. I know a lot of people tweeted at them about it and just tried to share it around. It is massively appreciated and honestly the amount of likes these videos have been getting, the amount of comments, it has been really heartwarming and I just wanted to take a moment to say a big thank you to everyone who has been interacting with the videos. It has been lovely. So with that out of the way, let's get back into the game and let's hopefully do something interesting and maybe fix the bugged out missions. Well, here we are then, back in the world, and sadly, it does seem like the mission is still bugged out, but on the upside, we are very, very close to getting to rank three with the main faction, which means we can start purchasing a lot of the flying elements in the game. The wings, the tail wing, the ailerons, all that awesome stuff we can actually purchase as soon as we get to rank three. So I'm going to go back to my base, I'm going to bring a solar panel with me from now on, which means we can recharge our stuff as soon as we simply stop still for a little while, and then we're going to explore the world, hopefully killing some enemies and getting some more reputation. Sadly, all of my missions at the moment are for the wrong faction, so we're just going hunting for enemies and doing a little bit of exploring. And that looks like an enemy which is stuck on a tree. Okay, that's definitely a first. What are you? Oh look, it's a little turret. Okay, well, we'll definitely take that with us. We'll also grab this weapon, because why not? Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to do stuff over here. Now, can I use my laser to hit him from here? Yes, I can. A little bit of sniping there. There we are, utter victory. Both my new laser and, of course, the new pound cannon were longer range than his weapons, making that a very quick and very efficient combat indeed. Either way, though, I do need to get back to repair before I start losing stuff. Here we are then, back at the base, with a load of scrap which should help us to become airborne today. That is our one and only goal. I don't care if we become a particularly good flyer, I just want something that can fly so we can go exploring and have a lot of fun being airborne. So around us in this pile of scrap we have four of the turbines, we have one right and one left wing, we have the lift aerofoil, we have the rudder aerofoil, then we have some wheels, some blocks, and one single gun. So I'm hoping this will be enough. I really don't know. I can't say I've ever made a flyer in this game correctly, so this will be a first. Now one thing I do remember is that the controls take a little bit of getting used to. I do at least remember that. If I recall correctly, once you become airborne, the controls suddenly shift into flying mode in which shift is forwards, and then W and S become the pitch controls. That may be correct, that may be wrong, we'll see as we go. So, this isn't right at all. Okay, let's do this differently. Let's try it like this. Don't think this is going to work, but hey-ho, we may as well give it a go. And we can even add this little wheel at the back there, which may actually help us out, although we are stuck in the ground. Okay, well, at least we can move on ground, okay? That's the important part. Okay, you're obviously the wrong side. Now you're the right side. You also have connection points on the bottom, so perhaps that would be important to take into note with these aerofoils, but for now, we'll leave them as they are. This goes on the back, so that's our rudder for controlling ourselves in the air. Hmm. I don't think this is going to be balanced weight-wise in the slightest. Okay, then let's just add these to the side, because why not? Okay, looking balanced-ish in terms of the thrust at least. Yep, this isn't going to work, but hey-ho! Okay, okay, well, we got airborne. We got airborne briefly, so that kind of worked. Let's just quickly repair ourselves. Okay, that's going to take some getting used to. But for now, give me the battery so I can repair my blocks so I don't suddenly die. Then we'll try again. Maybe I should work on balance more than just having wheels here. Perhaps the wheels shouldn't even be there. 
Okay, this is my last attempt before I look up a guide. There's already been enough face palming in this episode, there doesn't need to be any more. So this will be your last chance to face palm before I go off and actually learn something. So the one thing I did notice is that the aerofoils I was using at the back of the craft were not actually doing anything. Perhaps they were providing lift, but they weren't an active component. They couldn't control my pitch. So instead, I've got these rudders, the rudder aerofoils on the back, hoping that they can actually control pitch, at least in some manner. Also, the wheels are back because wheels make me happy, and it means I can actually control myself when I'm on the ground. I'm not confident about this, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Oh! Yes! Yes! Okay! Yes, we are airborne! Oh my god, it actually worked! Okay, normally I have an idea about what I'm going to say about things, but I did not expect that to work! Oh, that is awesome! Oh my god, that is absolutely amazing! I bet you can make some really cool aircraft in this game- Oh lord, okay, turning is not how I thought it was going to be. Oh, okay, so it's a proper- flippy thing then. That's the word I'm using now. It's a flippy thing. Oh wow, that's actually really cool. <laughs> oh my lord, I want to build a bigger flyer. Now, I know that one of the factions, which we haven't unlocked yet, can have access to better flying gear, and as we improve our rep with the main faction, they have like um, rotors and everything else, rather than these little hover doodars. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my lord, that's so awesome. Also, this thing is not balanced. Hello, enemies! Death from above! Good! I didn't hit a thing, but I did scare them. Well, that one can't hit me because he's only using ground lasers. <laughs> this is difficult. Oh lord, this is difficult. Did I hit anything? Okay, I need to put these guns on a better position, I think. Well, perhaps use lasers so I, I can actually just- Oh! Lasers facing directly down! Then we can go for like strafing bombing runs! That would be awesome! Ay, oh god, this is so difficult to control! It's okay, I'm okay. Look, there you go, it's balanced- Okay, no it's not, it's slowly tipping upwards. Yes! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! I thought that would be our death. Okay, one last attempt with this little gun. I want to hit them at least once, that's all I want in life. The auto-aim that usually works doesn't seem to- Whoa, lord, that camera- Whoa, that camera was very weird then. Oh my lord, we need to make a better plane. We've- Weapons actually work. But for a little test plane, just to see how things work, that is so cool! Oh man, I bet landing is really difficult. Let's land over here, not in my scrap heap. Okay, slowly. 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 Come on. Yes! A successful landing! And back up. Oh, I am so happy right now. The happiness is just... Okay, I've got to stop gushing, but I am really happy this actually worked! Oh, and an enemy dropping by really close to our base. Follow me! Get away from the base! Go on, follow the gnat! By the way, that's the gnat. I'm going to call this thing. This is the gnat. Go on. Oh yeah, camera controls though are very weird when in this mode. Oh, land. Come on, we landed perfectly last time. No, don't stall. Okay, a little bit of damage on the back rudder could have been worse. That was so cool! <laughs> oh, the happiness! Oh dear lord, something's... Okay, something's stacking our base. You, control! Uh, moving. To defend against the darkness. Um. Oh, okay. So the AI does work if you just put guns on the fortress. Okay, that's cool. You! Away! Fear me and my slow movement and long range lasers. That's a very small enemy. I guess because I was using the plane at the time, it's a small enemy. I need to set up those turrets correctly. What I need to do is give them a, a shield and such and put them out here instead. Putting them nearby everything is just, well, it's causing them to hurt their own stuff. But yeah, see, the gun is actually on that and the AI is controlling the, the, the base, which means I can actually defend the base without it causing self-harm. So 
First of all, arm up the base. Second of all, make better turrets. And right now, though, I do want to deal with that guy who's way too close at, close to our base. And then, I don't know, maybe try and build a better flyer. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. A little bit later, after actually looking stuff up online, and it does seem like aerial combat in this game really isn't the most viable thing in the world. There are certainly some outliers, with some people making some truly fantastic combat-based aircraft, but for the most part, you don't really build a flyer to do any battling. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some exploring instead, using our crappy little gnat. So let's get back into the air, if we can. Wow, those pound cannons are so heavy. Um, maybe without the pound cannons. I was going to bring them along with me just in case I needed to fight, but it seems like that may not be the best idea. Can I get some takeoff? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm airborne. I'm going. Everything's okay. Okay, then we can carry on. I've also added some guns to my base, so hopefully that can be defended whilst we're on the road. Ooh, good, finally another quest from the main faction. So right now, I'm still only with two factions, and I really want to go with the... I don't know what their name is, but they use a lot of red and a bit of white, I believe, or some blue. Ooh, that actually. Venture license. Defeat the Venture Drifter. That is exactly it, the Venture faction, because they have a lot of aircraft stuff, and honestly just a lot of weaponry, which I really want access to. So that, from now on, is my new mission. Uh, shall I go and have a look, see if we can defeat it in our little plane? I mean, we may as well. Let's see if we can win. So it's all the way back over there. So this little bit of journey was pointless. I should have also brought with us the other fans, the other turbines. We could probably get some extra speed there. That must be really close to our base. Oh wow, turning's been so slowed down by these cannons. Yeah, this thing can't really handle weight all that well. Oh, there he is, hello. You're not very far away at all. Maybe we can beat you. Probably should have turned off our engines completely there. Uh, okay, come on. Nope, the problem is they don't target properly. Also, that thing's going to brutalize us. So, let's fly on back over to the base. Best landing ever? Go on! Land by yourself, I believe in you! That was a perfect landing. Let's go back to our regular vehicle, which has kind of been cannibalized a bit for that flyer, so a few things missing, but still definitely winning with this. Oh, please don't too many things explode. Oh, I thought it killed you. There's your cabin at the top. Come on, I don't want everything... There we are! Brilliant! Venture License! Upgrade Grade 1! Congratulations! Venture has upgraded your license to Grade 1. The following blocks can now be purchased at the trading station or crafted via the fabricator. So, regular blocks, no idea what that is. Ooh, a new gun type? Okay, we need to have a look-see what all those are. And also, what's that? Ooh, a spoiler! Cool! <laughs> I'll definitely be having that. Um, where did that just go? Sure! That's where it's meant to go. Also, I just saw the gun. Adventure Pip Machine Gun. Is that better or worse than my current gun? Maybe facing it the right way would help. Oh, wow, look how fast that shoots! Yep, we're going with that, definitely. Over here we have another Pip Machine Gun. Let's put that there for now. We have some Zuma wheels. Oh, so I guess Venture is the fast faction. It's going to have all the fast stuff and the good wheels and the good weaponry. Well, not necessarily the good weaponry, but I'm just, I'm just assuming fast. Everything's going to be quick. So, we can build a little super zippy zip thing, which is zippy. What are you? Okay, the LED. Okay, fair enough. And is that a booster of some type? No, it's a stud pulse. Okay, so just a laser. No. Oh, it's a thrust. Oh, look at that. That looks so much cooler than that other stuff. I only assume laser because it has stud in it, and we have a stud laser already, so you see how the assumptions happened. So these are the Zuma wheels, I'm assuming the most basic. I'll take that little bit of sap, thank you. And a headlight, thank you very much. That's a lot of very, very cool stuff. I wonder if the regular blocks are lighter than the normal blocks, because if they are, then we really should make the flyer out of this stuff. So what missions do we have for Venture then, if any? Ah, currently none. That is a shame, I'd like to do some stuff for Venture. Let's have a look-see. So there's Venture, Hawkeye, Experimental, and Special, which is all the Christmas gubbins, which I really should buy, because I don't know if these are permanent or not. Okay, so Venture, we have the machine gun. 
we have the zoomer wheels, we have the standard blocks, and we have the cab. We'll do that next time. We'll build a vehicle out of all the venture stuff next time. That'll be the point of the next episode. Oi! Did you see that little guy then? Just ran right into our base and hit it. Goodbye. Okay, need more guns on our base still. Good to know. Let's put one on the other side. That's one of the problems. In fact, we just need more guns on here. We have all the shields and stuff, so it's hard to hurt this thing, but... Be good if it had more weaponry. A bit more protection. Actually, what we could do is just do this. And then put that gun there for now. Good enough! It has one extra gun. I really need to work. There's just so much to do. That's the problem. There is so much to do and work on. I'm never working on something which I deem I need to do because then there's something else to distract me. Okay, our flyer survived. That was good. Let's grab one of those batteries. That would be wonderful as well. Please don't break this whole thing like it did earlier. Well, it half broke it. It only half broke it. That's fine. Just do some repair work. Okay. So yeah, we'll do that next time. Let's get back into the flyer and let's go exploring once again. Come on, Nat. Let's get you repaired. Oh. Now, do I even want to keep these cannons? It's clear we can't fight airborne. It'd be good to bring them so we can do some damage once we've landed, but... I just don't think it's really worth it. What we could do, perhaps, is just steal a couple of these lasers and then have them on the front so we can fire forwards like this. Or, of course, put them on the bottom so we can go over things and then fire, but then that will be difficult. It's just not going to be good for fighting. I think that is pretty much the summation. Also, I need to grab a repair thing so I can heal myself up. Okay, I'll heal myself up and then we'll go exploring again and we'll see what else there is. Once again, we are airborne. This time, we're going to head towards the east side of the world. And there's a small enemy down there which can't really do all that much to our flyer. So there is that, at least. Also, that is blindingly blue. Well, kind of bluey white. Cyan, it's a light bluish colour. Also, controlling this thing, still remarkably difficult. Come on, let's hit him at least once. Yes, we have done damage to an enemy. Our plane is clearly the best combat plane in all existence. Goodbye, we win, you lose. Also, we do need to go ahead and find Crafty Mike. So let's have that as our current mission, which it already is. And let's head towards that then. Since we don't really need a combat vehicle to do all that type of stuff. Maybe I should have the lasers on the bottom, or at least one of them. Trying to build midair. Probably the worst idea I've had in a while. Is it even possible? It's very difficult since the camera fights you when you're trying to do it. Fine, I'll land, I'll land. There we are. I wonder if pressing B really close to the ground could actually save you from a crash. I don't think so. By the looks of things, you do actually have to land for it to work. There we are. We're a bomber now. Everything will work fine. Also, the laser actually goes forwards. Interesting. I bet you now some other YouTuber has made some really awesome aircraft. Just an absolute fighting monstrosity. Then there's me with this little thing like, Yay! I can fly! Still nothing for Venture. I wonder how you get Venture reputation if it's not through missions. I'm assuming it is through missions. We simply haven't um, got any yet. It feels so much faster when you're close to the ground. Also, way more dangerous. Are we there yet? Oh, I just went over Crafty Mike without realising it. Hello sir, how you doing? What you got for us today? To be fair, we haven't even started doing the factory stuff we got last time. Come on, land. Hey Mike. Oh, look at that perfect landing next to Mike. Okay, what do you need, Mike? I'm in need of some- Okay, we are not in a resource harvesting thing here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, buddy. What are you showing us today, anyway? What is this? Is that just the creator mabob? It looks like the creator mabob. Okay, so we need to go and get resource for that. What was the resource? Rubber jelly and plum bite I mean, we could. It's not too difficult to harvest in this thing. Just have to shoot some trees. We just can't carry them back other than one by one. There we are. Look, there's two rubber jelly right there. I said there's two rubber jelly right there. This is going to be so easy. Come on. Come on, let me grab them. Let me... 
Okay, we've got one. No. There we go. We've got one. This would only take us like half an hour. Yeah, I think it might be better to come back to this mission later with something that can actually hold resource and defend itself. Ha ha! There we are. Well, well now, way to victory. I'm going to keep on exploring for now. Hello there, random enemy. Nope, that did not work. Yeah, flying combat. It's going to take a bit of practice if it's even viable. And according to the internet and most people, it's not viable. But maybe it is. I'll need to do some more research after this. At least... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This, 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 this. SCU storage block. That is storage. Storage is what we want. Storage means the scrapyard will be clean and beautiful and pretty. And everyone will want to come and visit. And the queen will come over for tea. And I can offer rubber jelly for meals. Everything in the world would be great once again. Now, if I can just get on over to there, that would be fine. Please don't be attached to an enemy. Please don't be attached to an enemy. Please do not be attached to an enemy. You found the SCU storage device. Pick it up on the ground and then anchor it. Okay. Ta-da. No. Screw that. No, we're going home. <laughs> defend your block. Sure, I'll defend it by carrying it like this, a little bit cheatily, admittedly, all the way back home. And this is messing up the camera even more than before. Haha! <laughs> Wait, can I actually attach this to my craft? Oh god, this will make us just sink, I imagine. I can't even put it on in a symmetrical way. I feel like this is cheating. Maybe we're a bandit. Enemy tech spotted. I don't care. I'm just getting home with my little storage device, which I have no idea how this works. Because I didn't finish the mission, which will explain how this works. <laughs> I'll go back to, to him kill those things later with my main tech. But for now... But for now... Oh lord, the controls are messed up. Can I attach this somewhere, please, so I can see what it does? No. 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 Is it meant to be on its own? No. Whoa. Whoa, did not expect that. Um. 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 The hell? I think I shouldn't have done this. How do I use this? Also, it's working on my craft as well. Look. Oh, wait. No, it's on the guns. Okay, I thought he's pulling me in as well. It's a black hole. How does it work? Okay, I'm going to call the episode here with... The Actually, no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to Google it just to figure out how this works because finding my way back is going to be very difficult. And I'm assuming that the enemies might not be after us anymore. I may have broke this quest. That's not good. Oh, it gave us an inventory. How do I use... Oh! Oh my god, that is so ridiculously awesome. That goes in there. That... Oh my god, it gives us a mobile inventory. Oh dear lord, that is so useful. Black Hole, come with me. I have got so many things to show you. You've got your work cut out for you there, little black hole, buddy. Behold the power of eternity. Or some other nerdy thing to say in this situation. Or sci-fi thing to say in this situation, anyhow. Either way, black hole meets scrapyard. Can I give that to you as well? Maybe. That is the best thing since ever. I think I love Terratech more in this episode, more than any episode I've recorded so far. We've started flying, admittedly a bit disappointed in the combat with that, and we've also got a black hole form of storage. Our storage is a black hole. A black hole is our storage. 
So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you would like to see continued in the future. In the next episode, I have no idea. I'll be having a quick look-see on how we can get some more Venture Rep, I suppose, so that we can build a little racing buggy with the really cool machine guns. Thank you again for watching, this was ridiculously fun, and goodbye.